Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Culinary Apprentice Online Pastry School. My name is Chef Tony Lynn Dickinson, and today we're going to learn how to make marzipan fruit. to work on a rose today. We're going to use the plain marzipan, no color. There's something beautiful sometimes about just using the plain marzipan. It gives the impression of being like a white rose, but you can also color it. So we're first going to start by taking a small piece of the marzipan, rolling it into a ball, and then we're going to shape the top of it into a cone shape. That's going to be my base. And I'm going to set that down just like that. I'm then going to take marzipan and I'm going to break it off into three, four equal pieces. So the first piece I'm going to roll in my hand. Now people shape this different ways, but I like to shape it by using a little bit of plastic wrap. It allows me to be able to get the marzipan very thin without breaking it. So first I fold the plastic wrap on top of the marzipan and I take my thumb and I press down in the center and I leave a small hump there. I'm going to then stretch just from that edge all the way out and thin just the edge of my marzipan as much as possible. Once done, I'm going to take this and wrap it around my center like a cloak. And that is the start of my rose. Now I'll start with the next two pieces. Again, you can make all of your balls and set them up. Press down in the center again. And then thin it out from the edge. And I can just let that set for a second and leaving it out in the open will allow it to begin to dry slightly and get a little hard so that it will hold its shape. Make sure when you do this that you do not have the plastic too close to the edge so that you um, don't have, if you have it too close to the edge I should say, you, you won't have time or space to spread it. So I'll spread it just like that. I'm really not too concerned about uh, whether or not the edges crinkle a little bit. And sometimes I like to take it and make it just a, a bit of a pill shape so it has a little bit more spread when I put the rows together. So again, right in the plastic, turn it, press it with your hand down the middle. You're going to leave a section here, a little humped. That's going to help give the meat to the bottom or the base of the rows, give it a little bit more rounded shape. Press it like that. I have my three pieces. I now pick up my center. I'm going to look at this center section where I have just put it together. And I'm going to use my first piece. Oh, I crimped that just a little bit. I'm going to use my first piece to go around it. And that's going to go right in the center. So right here, it goes right to the center. And I will pull that edge back just slightly. You can also see if you look at it, it's very, very thin. It gives the impression of being very thin, although it's fatter on the bottom. That's what you want. But you don't want it too thin down here because if you thin it all the way, then the petal will flop. You need the thickness here in order to be able to give the petal stability. I'm then going to tuck that underneath my first piece. And I'm going to do it like a triangle. And then goes the third. And I want to make sure that my petals are the same height. So if you need to adjust them, adjust them. But I don't want my petals to be higher than the center of my rose. So you can see right there, there is a triangle. And now I'm going to give it the final little pretty 
marks. So I'm going to take the edges and curl them back just a little bit with my finger and then pucker them. I call it giving it a little kiss there. And if I wanted to, I could stop right there and call it my bud. Okay? I'm going to continue by putting a couple more petals there. So I'll take some more marzipan. I'll pick out that's three. I'm going to go with five petals now. So I'll pinch five equal pieces of marzipan. And whatever marzipan you're using, make sure that you put it in plastic. And you can cover it with a towel or just plastic just to make sure that it doesn't dry out because marzipan has quite a bit of sugar and we know that once we have sugar exposed to the air in food items of this sort as with royal icing it begins to develop a skin so I've got my five balls there I'm gonna make these a little bit more of a pill shape because I want to be able to have a little bit more length with the leaf as I wrap it it's not necessarily, if you look at roses actually, you'll see some of them, depending on the variety, are very round and others are a little elongated. We're kind of imitating nature, so I'm going to take a little bit of a license in order to create the right kind of illusion. So again, in the plastic, with my thumb halfway down, and then I'm going to stretch my marzipan out so the very top is thin. You can see that and if you held it up to the light you'd be able to see that it's translucent right here at the tip so I'll have a little bit of foam there to hold my pieces to keep them from being damaged and if you make a mistake what I love about marzipan is if you make a mistake you can always just do it again you can take one piece of marzipan and practice over and over and over again I'm sure if you have one that you absolutely love, you can hold on to it. This is the last petal. Now I'll look at my sizings and see which are my larger petals. I hope that they're all about the same size. But if it feels like there's one that's a little bit smaller than the other, then I'll use that first. So here we have our rows. Okay. And now I'm going to begin to add my five petals. Now what's nice about marzipan is you don't necessarily have to have the water to do so. So I'm just going to press them right where that joint is here, is where my first, my next set of petals are going to go. And at this point I'm not concerned whether or not it's on the inside or the outside. It kind of uh, works pretty well. I do tuck them and I want to make sure that the size or the height of the petals are the same. You kind of have to be careful sometimes that you're not um, pulling your petal down and causing it to be askew, so check it out. And then as I go, I press back and I start to give it the last puckers, the bend and a little kiss right at the top. I save my wider piece normally for the end because sometimes I might misjudge and just need a little bit of extra length there to bring it all the way around. Curl back the ends. One more. This is four. And this makes five. And once that's done, there's my rose. And once that's done, if you make it very, very tight, you can also just take a little pressure like this and press it on the outside and it makes the petals open up almost like it's a natural flower and blooming. Now I'm going to cut the bottom off because if I want to put this on a cake, I need to have some support. I'll cut that bottom off, hold it right there, and then I'll take just a little bit of green marzipan, 
just to give a contrast in color. And this is what's very nice about it. It's just giving a slight bit of contrast in color. I'm going to roll my marzipan. I'm going to use a little wooden dowel here. And I'm going to roll this marzipan out. And I'm going to create a calyx. Now, if you don't have a calyx cutter, you can use a knife. And you really don't have to concern yourself too much about whether or not it's perfectly done. It can just be the image of the points, because once it's sitting on the cake, you're not going to see the bottom, but you do want to have the points. I think that a lot of times people forget when they make flowers. The flowers themselves are nice, but they don't look real unless they have a finish. You know, it's like walking out without your shoes. So I'm going to create some, a star shape. And I really want this just for the bottom of the rose. And as I said, I'm not concerned if it's perfect. You're really not going to see that much of it. You just want to see those tips at the end. If you have a calyx cutter like this, it's perfect, but this one's a little too small. Put this on the bottom. Bring those tips up just like that. Now your rose looks finished when it sits on your cake. With that leftover bit of green, I'll push it together, maybe take another small piece. And now I'm going to roll this and I'm going to make a leaf. And if you need to, you can use a little bit of cornstarch just to keep your surface from being too sticky. And now, I'm going to cut a leaf shape. And use my knife to make an impression down the center for the veining. And then, doesn't have to be ridged. A rose leaf normally has a ridge, but for this, it doesn't have to be. And then you put that right underneath. Give it a little bit of life by curling it. And there you have a rose. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned it. Something new today. See you next class.